Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've been dealing with that annoying Clearview virus on your Windows PC, then you're in the right place. In this video, we'll walk through how to remove it step by step and get your system back to normal. So, let's get started. Step 1. Run Malware Removal Software First, I recommend Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. It's a great tool for detecting and removing malware like Clearview. Head over to the official Malwarebytes website, download and install the program. Once installed, open Malwarebytes and click Scan. Let it run a full scan and remove any malware it detects. Step 2. Clear Temporary Files Let's clean up your system a bit more by removing temporary files. These files can sometimes contain remnants of malware, so clearing them out is a good idea. Press Win plus R, type Clean MGR, and press Enter. Select your system drive, usually C colon, and hit OK. Then click Clean up System Files and select the types of files you want to delete, especially temporary files. Click OK and let it clean up your system. Step 3. Reset your browser settings. Now, let's tackle any changes the Clearview virus may have made to your browser. Sometimes, it changes your home page, adds extensions, or redirects your searches. To reset Google Chrome, go to Settings, scroll down and click Under Reset Settings, and Restore Setting to their original defaults. Step 4. Run a full malware scan. Now, let's run a final scan with Windows Defender to make sure your system is totally clean. Go to Settings greater than Privacy and Security greater than Windows Security, and then click Virus and Threat Protection. Select Quick Scan or Full Scan for a more thorough check. Step 5. Change your passwords. Finally, if you think your personal information might have been compromised, it's a good idea to change your passwords for important accounts like email, banking, and social media. And that's it! You've successfully removed the Clearview virus from your PC. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tips. If you're still having issues, drop a comment below and I'll help you out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.